Ethiopia, a landlocked country in East Africa, borders Djibouti to the northeast, Eritrea to the north, Somalia to the east, South Sudan to the west, Kenya to the southwest, and Sudan to the northwest. Its landscape is diverse, encompassing mountains, savannas, and the Great Rift Valley. It has a land area of 1,104,300 square kilometers or 426,373 square miles and a population of 121,164,000. During Haile Selassie's rule from 1930 to 1974, Ethiopia had a mix of different economic approaches, including both free enterprise and government involvement. The country's economy grew moderately because of selling coffee, making Ethiopia the top coffee producer in Africa. They also started making their own products like clothes and shoes. However, most of the economy still depended on farming, and this caused problems when there were droughts or changes in the economy. Many people didn't have the same opportunities because a few people owned a lot of the land, making it hard for farming and creating big differences between rich and poor. Under the Dirk government from 1974 to 1991, after the 1974 changes, they tried some strong socialist ideas. They took control of the land and made everyone work together on farms, but it didn't work well, and farming became less productive. The government controlled a lot of businesses and plans, which stopped the economy from growing. A lot of money went to the military during a long war, and this took away money from important things like healthcare and schools. The country also had a big problem in the 1980s because of droughts and bad economic situations, leading to a terrible famine in 1983 to 85 where many people died, and the economy got even worse. In 1991, Ethiopia was in trouble with its economy. The country's money was going down, and the effects of a 17-year war were hurting the economy a lot factories, which are important for the economy, were closing, and the way the government planned things was causing problems like not having enough money or materials. Even though things were hard, in 1991, the old government changed, and a new government called the Transitional Government of Ethiopia started doing things differently. They made changes like lowering the value of money, and letting prices be decided by the market. There were also talks about giving more power to different regions in the country, which could help make the economy better from the bottom up. Ethiopia is a country that the World Bank calls a low-income developing country. Most people work in farming, which is the main way the country makes money. Ethiopia's economy is characterized by a total GDP of approximately $312.8 billion, with a 5.6% growth in 2021. In June 2023, there was an increase of about 8.7% in the overall cost of goods and services. The country's primary occupations include farming, contributing to 46% of the economy, with the cultivation of coffee, oils, eds, and various crops. Services make up 53.9% of the economy, encompassing sectors such as retail, transportation, telecommunications, and tourism. Additionally, industry accounts for 22.8% of the economy, involving activities like mining, aluminum production, food processing, manufacturing of clothing, and construction. Ethiopia engages in international trade by exporting products such as coffee, flowers, and gold, while importing items like fuel, machinery, and clothing. Ethiopia faces various challenges that may pose obstacles to its development. With a poverty rate of 32%, a significant portion of the population struggles financially. Additionally, the unemployment rate stands at 6.9%, with an alarming 34.7% among the youth, highlighting the difficulty many face in securing employment. The country's heavy reliance on agriculture leaves it vulnerable to the impact of adverse weather conditions and fluctuating international prices. Moreover, inadequate infrastructure, including subpar roads, 39 km per 1,000 square kilometers, limited access to electricity, only 50% of the population, and unreliable internet connectivity, hinders Ethiopia's overall growth potential. Ethiopia faces some tough problems, but it has a chance to grow its economy because it has a lot of young people, natural things like plants and minerals, and a good location.